In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a batch payment to pay multiple customers in Xero. So the first step is to log into your Xero account and then head to the dashboard. Once you're there, you're just going to look for the business tab over here, give that a click, and then select bills to pay. Now under bills to pay, we're going to look for the awaiting payment tab right here. And then we're just going to select the batch of uh, payments we wish to settle. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. For example, we'll take the Capital Cab Co, Power Direct, Bayside Wholesale, and maybe Swanston Security right there. Now, once you've selected the uh, batch of payments you need to settle or you want to settle, we're going to go ahead and click on Make Payment. And then from here, we're going to select Batch Payment. Now here we'll be able to see the details of our selected uh, bills to pay. You can see that they differ in the references, the due date, and the bank account, as well as the details and other uh, payment in uh, USD right here. Now what we're going to do is select a payment date. We're just going to use the date today and then select the bank account that we wish to take the payment from. So for this example, we're going to go with business bank account and then we're going to add some details here just to indicate the batch payment. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, use batch payment one. Now to cross check this, what we can do is uh, head to our contacts right here. I'm just going to open this in a new tab. So click on contacts and then uh, con hold control and then click on all contacts so that it will open in a new tab just like this. Now from here, we're just going to search the contact we have in our batch payment. So for example, we have Capital Cab Co. I'm just going to type in Capital Cab and then we should see the contact right here. Now we're just going to click on edit. And we'll see the details of that contact right here. And if we scroll down to financial details, we can see this bank account number, which is basically just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, with the details of demo dash GL. And if we go back to our batch payment, we can see that the bank account matches right here. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two as well as the demo-gl details. So since these are blank, there's uh, no need to cross-check this in your contacts. But we'll try to check if the same goes for PowerDirect. So we're going to look for PowerDirect in our contacts real quick, just to show you how this process goes. Hold on. There should be no space right there. There we go. Now we'll do the same. Just click edit. Uh, scroll down until you find the financial details. We'll see the same details for demo-gl and for the bank account number. 345-1234. And that should be matching up perfectly. Now if we check for those that don't have these details, we can also check this by heading to our bills to pay once again so we're going to click business on this uh, second tab we just opened a while ago open up bills to pay and uh, check on awaiting payment so we have bayside wholesale and swanston security right there we have that as reference the amount 840 and AP as reference with the amount of 59.54. We have 840 right here and 59.54 right here with the same references. So everything should be matching up perfectly. So what we're going to do now is proceed to make payments. So we're just going to go ahead and click this button right here. And as you can see, 
we now have the transaction for that batch payment with the title uh, batch payment one. So this is how it's going to appear on your bank statement. What we can do from here is we can export the batch file, print it as PDF, send it as remittance to whatever email. We can also view it as a PDF. From here, we can also mark it as reconciled already. We can edit the batch and we can remove and redo. So if we try to export the batch file, it will be downloaded as a CSV right here. So that'll be handy for uh, recording your uh, bank statements. And you can also print it as a PDF like that. If you want to send it to, an, uh, to someone's email, your own as well, you can do so by sending remittance advice. And that's about it. That's how you create a batch payment to pay multiple customers in Xero. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.